welcome back everyone great to have you back supporting the cause and watching my channel so welcome 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 okay i want to talk to you about something that i found very very interesting the question that i've been asked by an athlete is called how do i keep my home life and my sports life separate and at the end of the day i'm not qualified to be giving you this advice however the question has been put to me whatever you take from it it could be used as a vehicle to help you approach your situation in a way that may help I've been given a little bit of information from this individual. I'm not going to delve into too much information as I feel that's an invasion of privacy. However, I'm going to talk about it on a broader scale so it can relate to any and anybody. So for me, the first thing I would do is identify the real issue. So an example, I love athletics and it's what I want to do all day, every day. I wake up thinking about it. I go to sleep thinking about it. That's how passionate I am. However, life finds a way of creeping in and throwing in a few spanners to make your goal a little bit more difficult to achieve. So, what are you going to do? How can you adapt to this change in circumstance, this disruption? Keep it real simple. Get one of these, or a pen, or a barrel, it doesn't matter, anything. And get you one of these. Literally this big as well. Make it A3. Alright, so here's what I suggest. Blank piece of paper, you're going to draw a line down the middle and you're going to draw a line across. This is Blue Peter style, one I made earlier, yeah? <laughs> First box, you're going to write in it what I want. What you want is important. And in the other box, you're going to write, how can I improve my situation? All right, we have another box. In it, it says, who can I talk to? The key thing here is to identify key issues that you can work on stage by stage. Whenever you're in a circumstance like this, avoid overwhelming yourself with too many questions. Here's a trick. I want you to talk to yourself as though you're talking to one of your friends. You're in the circumstance that you're in. I want you to come out of yourself and pretend you're talking to a friend who is going through the same situation as you. You're going to ask yourself, your friend, what is it that you want, Dwayne? I just want to run, bruv. That's all I want to do, man. I go to bed thinking about this. I wake up thinking about this. And I have some kind of madness that's come and mash up my runnings. Mum's telling me some craziness. Dad's telling me to lock it off. What? This is what I do. Now, this is me responding, yeah? All right, Dwayne, is there anyone you can talk to about this? Talk to someone? For them to come laugh after me? Nah, bruv, I'm not on it, you know. This is an internal thing I have to deal with. Well, maybe there's a one person I could talk to, but what do you reckon? All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. This is progress. Okay, so you've identified one person you could potentially talk to about this. Do you know who that is? You know, I got a bit carried away there. I, I, I thought I had someone I could talk to, but I'm not too sure. I think the best thing for me to do is talk to myself about this first and identify where the issue is. You know, it's really, really rattled my cage. The fact that my mind was just kind of clear. There was no junk, no rubbish going on in here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It was clear as water. And then my mum's gonna inject some virus. My dad's gonna just rattled up my, sh my spine, telling me stuff that's made me think differently from what I'm accustomed to. And that's what just messed me up, bruv. So how, how do I get over that? I don't know. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause just there. The fact that Dwayne <laughs> has chosen to identify the issue first before jumping the gun is really really important with situations like this it's important to get a piece of paper write down your issues once you can identify these things then you've got a template to work off of and script within yourself it's always good to go into a situation prepared than unprepared be clear with your feelings your understandings and what you want to get out of the situation in all honesty life is life and you have to learn to deal with it um, however you can make things a lot easier upon yourself by just talking I think that's really, really important. The moment you bottle things up, the more your bottle's gonna get fuller and fuller. We're gonna use this bottle here. Um, at the moment, your toleration level of life and excitement and things you're going through is here. What's gonna happen when it gets really, really full? It's gonna overflow. And then sometimes when situations like that occur, you start to say things you regret, things you mean, and sometimes they come out in the wrong way. So before, this bottle of frustration reaches the top, I would suggest just sitting down and talking to the relevant people about it, giving it a chance to get out in the open. Living life 
in silence. It can be very detrimental to your life, your health and your career. If running and sport is what you want to do, let it be clear that you want to do this. And in order to achieve your goal, it's not going to be as straightforward as you want it to be. Some athletes have it real easy where they have, they have a smooth sailing and have got a lot of people surrounding them to help bombard or deflect a lot of these issues. If that's not your path, your setup, your regime, then get the right people around you to help barricade you from these issues. But the better you can get them on board and get them around to your way of thinking, I think you'll find life will be a lot more smoother. All right. Before we leave, let's have a quick word with Dwayne. You know what I found interesting about this session? Initially, my back was against the wall and I got my back up and I was kind of tense. Veins popping out and all that, turning into Bruce Banner and I just wanted to stay calm. I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to. Whenever I was confronted with situations and dilemmas and people asking me questions and messing up my mental process, I got irritated. I immediately got vexed. My initial reaction was to lash out at them and say, why are you bringing this to me? And I'm talking to you on a reel. This is Big Dwayne and Little Dwayne, but this is like the conclusion to the scenario. I like to call these little situations DC scenario. Role play. And with that, you have to learn to be able to adapt to life. And sometimes when your parents... Whether it's intentional or not, sometimes your parents are going to say things to you that they probably foresee potentially being a danger. And as a young athlete, as a young person, as a young sportsman or young entrepreneur, whatever the situation is for you, you have to remember your parents were once kids too. And you may not believe it, you may not be able to foresee it, but your parents were once your age. And all they're purely trying to do is just protect you. They're not necessarily trying to hurt you, but they're just making you aware of situations that can potentially occur. And as long as you are mindful of this and open to taking on these type of conversations, you would not be afraid to deal with confrontation. You would not be afraid of dealing with injections of problems coming into your sports life or your work life or your family life or your relationship. Problems are going to inject themselves into your path all the time. This is your start and this is your end goal. No matter what, you're going to have people kind of trying to cut and snip at what you're doing. As long as you can keep your eye on the end, anything that comes in the way, you're going to learn to, to deal with your situations by talking about it. It's very important to come out of a situation clear. Sometimes it's not going to always be resolved on the first situation or the first encounter or the first conversation. But as long as you go in there with an objection, and a clear view, and even if it's just a case of airing off your feelings, it's good to hear, it's good to inject what you feel and let other people hear it. Give it time to digest, give it time to settle, come round to it. But always go into a situation with an open mind. That's important. Go into a situation with an open mind.